What's up guys, King Racer here. Today I have a special video for you. It's gonna be a diecast review video. I'm gonna show you the difference between a $1 fire truck, a $10 fire truck, a $20 fire truck, and as a bonus, a $100 fire truck. All right, so let's get this video started. So as you can see, there's three different categories of fire truck here. You have your one dollar one, your ten dollar one, your twenty dollar, and the hundred dollar one. As a bonus, of course. So obviously, for the one dollar model, they have to fit in the blister. So for example, this Matchbox Pierce Dash, made in two thousand eight, I believe. I have relatively limited details, but it's still pretty cool for a one dollar model. Get your separate piece here for the cab in white. You have your true tone red paint skin in die cast metal, chrome accents for the uh, equipment of the firefighters on the side of the truck, and this is the same piece as the front bumper and grill. Also for the other side, and you have an extra piece here for the interior. That moves the top of the truck with the ladder, the hoses, and everything else. And the chrome piece also, also goes in the back for the truck here. So it's relatively nice. It's cool for a one dollar model, but it's limited. And obviously, if you compare it to any one sixty-four scale diecast car, it's completely out of scale. And this is the biggest problem when you are a uh, Matchbox fire truck collector. Same thing can be applied for this rescue truck. This is the uh, Hazard Squad or Matchbox model. Fantastic replica for a $1 model but again totally out of scale but you have nice details of course the same thing with this uh, Pierce the separate top piece for the cab in white. Yet all metal body. This is also I believe the last version they made in diecast metal of this one. After that, they uh, release an all plastic version, which is very unfortunate. And this one is also pretty cool because it's the FDNY version, high rise unit number six. And uh, this one I have mold in the back for the ladder and chrome for the base and the top of the truck. So, obviously. Pretty cool, but not out of scale for one dollar models. Now let's go a little bit more expensive. Same company produced the real working rig line, which they are trucks that are made to be a little bit more on scale with diecast with their diecast one dollar line. This is here, it's an older rig. This is the Pierce Quantum, and this is a custom version that I made, FDNY version. This one was the old truck that I found in the uh, Value Village $1, $3 bag. And this one was missing the ladder and a lot of paint chips. So I decided to create more, uh, myself a ladder and with popsicle sticks. I painted white and I put on the top of this truck. I completely built this myself. I repainted this truck in FDNY livery. The only thing I'm missing is painting this part here white but uh, and this is unit number 43 ladder 43 but uh, this truck have a movable ladder obviously as a fire truck will do and they also have more version uh, other casting like the Pierce uh, Velocity I believe and they also have a call it F2 Jaguar which is the fire truck for Harapur and uh, this is a little bit better for scale reference and it's got the same details as your one dollar truck, but it's just a little bit enhanced. They also did the same for this rescue truck. This is the E1 mobile command unit. So obviously it's much better scale than this one dollar model. And these piece here actually fly, slides open. I won't do it on this one here because this uh, have stickers glue it on top of them so I'm not gonna force them but you also have this antenna here that pivots and this is where a rescue one 
version custom made and you also have this at the back that tilts and I mean for Father Barrel Mars it's pretty cool and it's, uh, it's more realistic than this one in scale so I'm gonna put these here on the side uh, before I go to this $20 models I'm gonna show you this uh, other custom version that I made this is a Madrid fire truck it's a little bit bigger than the uh, real working rigs from Matchbox not terribly big but uh, I mean it's cool still pretty good this is a uh, I believe a max CF yes looks like it and uh, this one used to be a single axle in the back so I modified a body to make it a tandem axle and I also made these fenders but they did not uh, last very well this body was pretty bad at the time I made that but uh, Anyway, I just wanted to show you because I believe it's still a nice piece from my collection. And this ladder does move and tilt. So, yeah, this is it. So now you have your $1 models, you have your $10 models, and now you have your $20 models. And these are much more better in scale. They are a true 164 scale in my opinion. And all of these trucks here you can see on the back, they are called uh, they are made by a company made Americom and basically these trucks here they are all old code 3 collectibles castings code 3 collectibles if you don't know was a very high-end company that produced 164 scale die cast models fire trucks and emergency vehicles the same that we'll show you later on this video that's hiding inside of this box and these trucks, the Code 3 trucks, they were extremely detailed. You have movable legs. Uh, these things here will actually come down. The ladder will move. I think some of some trucks have opening doors on the sides. And of course, the entire body was die cast metal. And same thing for this base. So what American did, they purchased these Code 3 castings. You can see here, I have a... FDNY ladder truck, I have a rescue truck, also have this a very nice Cagliari fire department, uh, airport truck, and I also have this um, this FDNY, uh, with this pumper, here we go, pumper truck. So what they did, they purchased the code three castings, and to make them more affordable to the public, they obviously cut a lot of the features and the uh, quality in the die cast models. And they per they sell them for around twenty bucks. So all of these trucks here, I got them for around twenty bucks plus shipping. So it's not too bad. And for the quantity of details that you're getting for these trucks, they are actually pretty cool. You have inserts for the uh, mirrors, the windshield wipers, a different mold for the legs. You obviously have inserts for the uh, the lights on the top. You have rubber tires, a die cast mold. Now, this one's probably the most disappointing from my collection because this is the truck that I have most anticipation for. I really wanted to have a tower ladder fire truck for my collection. But this one here, this American version, was uh, a retool version of the uh, Code 3 casting, like I told you before. But they repainted in a um, strange. Uh, Almost like a Christmas tree paint job on this truck. They're red, white, and uh, uh, and green. So I don't really like it. I don't really like the green wheels either. And uh, but the biggest disappointment for this truck is the uh, they took this entire part here and they made it all plastic. So the only die cast small um, uh, parts that you're getting on this truck is this cab here. And this truck is quite light, actually. So it's not. Uh, you don't have the same feeling of quality than this one. This one, as you can see, this old part here in red and white, it's die cast. So you have a much better feeling of quality with this truck here. And the same thing for this truck here. I'm going to show you later. And even it's even worse with this one. This one is extremely heavy. All die cast metal. But this one here, they kind of they kind of missed the opportunity here. But anyway, 
Trucks still have some nice features, I can see. The, the legs of free seal are not gonna move for 20 bucks. Same thing for these, they're not gonna come down. But uh, you still have some nice details, you know. Uh, these are, looks like extinguisher. You have rubber tires, like I said before. Yeah, it's, you still have the lights, nice um, details. At the real fire trucks we have, like those lamps here, the hoses. Of course, the ladders will move. It's quite fragile, so you have to be careful if you manipulate it. You also have the little water gun in the back of the uh, nassel. Uh, you have some samples of UC fire department and their taillights. And same thing for the side here, number seven. And of course, the paint is not paint is terrible. Also, at least models not it's not great. And this one here, the ladders does pivot 360 degrees, but like I said, it's quite fragile. And on this model here, this is kind of a bit on the way when you're turning the ladder, so it's not perfect. But uh, yes, you can want to see the details on the top here. And there we go. And all of these pieces move also, but uh, you can see here there's already a, a part that's broken so I'm not gonna force it to move it and this base is plastic so anyway let's move to the next truck this one's much better I believe this is the FDNY ladder number 43 and uh, unfortunately this one was a discontinued model I was pretty lucky I found two of them in the um, on the eBay seller I think it was an Europe I bought two of them you can say I have another one on the fire station and construction on the back here but these trucks here are, they are really realistic they are real nice uh, FDNY fire they have a lot of uh, nice tempo decals of course the ladder does move it's one of you see <laughs> so you can see it's kind of falling apart but uh, anyway still pretty cool I like all the details they put here once again the lights Extra tooling for firefighters, the mirrors, and those little antennas also in the front. It looks pretty damn nice. Of course, rubber tires, hands blocking the wheels. There we go. And uh, overall, it's just a very nice piece, especially for 20 bucks. I mean, they did a pretty good job of uh, making this truck realistic and details and not too expensive, actually. And on the base, not much detail, so but it's still a nice roller, also. And if you want nice trucks for your dioramas or for your 164 scale fire station, these trucks are just great, especially for the price you're paying for them. Even though these trucks will also do the job, but these ones, in my opinion, they are just much better. And I just fall off the ladder. Holy shit! Come on, oh, upside down. There we go. I'm gonna move it here. Rescue truck. Same thing. This is uh, Rescue One. This is the truck that replaced the one that was destroyed in the terrible attack of 9/11. Uh, this is the 2001, I believe, E1. Doesn't say on the base, but I believe it's a 2001 E1 Mobile Command truck. And uh, this truck is also pretty heavy. It's all die-cast metal, as you can see. All of this is die-cast. Nice windows here. You have the rescue kayak on top. And also the same tooling for the... Uh, found in the back of the ambulance, actually. So, rescue one, company one, fire department of New York. Little emblems here. Red, black, uh, red, yellow and white stripes. Black base. These rubber tires look pretty cool. Whoops, let me uh, show them closer here. My camera can zoom in. Nope, it's not working. There we go. And for some reason to me, it almost likes, it almost looks like some DCP wheels. Interesting. In the front, you have your antenna, just like this uh, ladder truck. I also like the way they painted the uh, the uh, cherries on top, on the top here, 
thing this no nope, this thing here doesn't move and the steps uh, it's pretty much the same details oh different paint skin and uh, temple work on this side yeah because this one have windows on one side and our one nope and the doors on the back are not opening I think I believe on the old cold tree castings the, these doors used to open up but that was I'm not sure but again for 20 bucks this truck is pretty rocking and this is probably the no nope, not the last one but almost the last one this is the uh, Another cold, old cold tree casting as a remade by Americom. And this is a, uh, it's actually pretty nice because it's a Canadian uh, fire department. It's a Calgary International Airport. Uh, this one's pretty damn heavy. This all red die cast metal is quite impressive, actually. Rubber tires, this one's a little bit dirty. Gonna need to be clean up. And uh, I like the way they uh, mold the wire gun on top does look pretty cool and I am I believe that if some of the uh, customizer out there want to build the uh, Mad Max truck you might want to get this big rig here and make it dirty with the gun on the top well actually pretty apocalyptic and this one also have some uh, steps uh, not steps but grab bars on the top of the cab and some lights and of course some transparent cherries so it looks pretty cool I also have another gun on the top of the front bumper. And uh, this is something here on the front that I cannot see. Oshkosh. Okay, that's Oshkosh truck. But uh, obviously my camera is not going to be copywriting. Or right, here we go. And uh, this is all plastic. I don't see any inserts for the lights. On the back here, nope, it's still pretty cool. I like the chrome steps here, and uh, overall, still a pretty nice truck. The base of you see is plastic. I can't imagine how heavy this thing will be <laughs> in the, the, the cold tree version, obviously, with a metal base. This thing will probably weight like I, I don't know, like 40 pounds. Just crazy. And the last truck for Americom collection I have is this uh, pumper here. This is uh, what is this number sixty one squad sixty one. Mm, this one's not my favorite because I have this uh, kind of American graphic on the top here. Never forget. I I understand this is probably a commemorative uh, truck for the uh, 911 attacks, but. I would have liked that they make a just a regular version. Maybe this version and another reg regular version with the uh, just the FDNY stripes and red with the uh, details for the fire truck. But anyway, this is just my opinion. And in the back, you still have grab bars and inserts for the uh, lights and the uh, cherries on top, transparent cherries. And nice rims on this one. And this guy have two water guns. Fortunately, mine has a broken one here. I have to reel back together on the top. This one seems to be fine. But uh, here we go. The front, uh, can you zoom him? Here we go. We have the NY. Number 61. And on this truck here, a lot of metal. This is metal. This is metal. And uh, just the top and the base is plastic. Uh, and they also have some nice mud flaps of this truck. And these these trucks also have, yeah, they all have dualies on the bottom. So it's actually pretty cool. And this one's not too bad of a roller. So that's it. These were difference between those fire trucks. But now, as a bonus, I'm going to show probably the most expensive fire truck that I have on my collection here today and uh, I'm not gonna say how much I spent for this one but uh, when I saw it on eBay I just I just thought it was just way too cool so I love FDNY fire trucks and this truck here I gave you a little guess here but this one 
uh, soon on the video but um, yeah this truck was on my wish list for a long time so when I bought I saw it on eBay and it was for a decent price it was not crazy money like I saw some of these trucks going for it's called Treat Fire Trucks they are going for crazy money on eBay I saw uh, rare version selling for well over I believe $800 US just absolutely ridiculous but this truck here I had to get it. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna put this uh, American version at top, so you, could, you will be able to see the difference in quality. And uh, I don't even have to talk because this this truck here is just amazing. I mean, just look how beautiful this truck is. Look at the details. Let's try. I try to zoom out here. Now this truck, I'm not gonna remove it from the package because it's uh, such an expensive model. But uh, if you can find one loose, I'm sure you're not gonna be uh, disappointed with your purchase because these trucks here, they have crazy value even out of the package, and the details on these is just amazing. It's it's similar to these CP trucks, really, but for fire trucks. And I believe all of these trucks also have a serial number. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they are putting it, but uh, this one doesn't definitely have one. And my camera is not focusing here. There we go. And you can see here, Coltree Aerial Tower Ladder Diecast Collectible Limited Edition 164 scale. And this is obviously licensed by the FDNY. And just a wicked looking truck. And as I mentioned before, this here, all die casts, the base is die casts, compared to this $20 version, is a massive difference. And of course, the legs are moving, some doors are opening up, those things. Those other legs here are coming down. It's just crazy. Crazy detail. This is the front of the truck. It also says something on the window. I can see properly uh, what it is. I think is uh, What is this? Fire department? Uh, one arc I don't know it's, it's too small to be a readable actually out of the package obviously uh, out in the package I'm trying to zoom out uh, nope zoom out please here we go and you can see more information here 2002 code 3 collectibles fire department of New York 164 scale Aerial Scoop Tower Ladder Limited Edition. So, here's some text for you if you want to pause the video and read. Oops. And some other information here. Inside of the box. There we go. So yeah, so uh, this is probably one of my holy grail of my collection of trucks, and this is definitely never gonna leave it until probably the day I I passed away. I have you in, in this planet, but uh, from something sure, this is gonna be a pretty solid looking truck for my collection. And uh, as soon as I get a new home, this thing's gonna be displayed in one of the probably the best part of my showroom. For sure. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. And uh, I will see you in the next Top Motion video soon. Or our next Diecast review video. So we'll see you soon.